it's the 21st of January 2020 and this is Power Director Mobile, Android and iOS 62 Blending and Mask. There's two new tools that we can talk about here and this is a quick overview, an awareness video if you like. So down the bottom here we've got new version 651 which introduced the new blending modes, overlay clips to produce double exposure effects with multiple blending modes, so I'll show you that. And up top here is 6.6, .6, was four new mask tools, overlay and adjust clips with linear, parallel, rectangle and eclipse. Let me show you one at a time. I'm going to do the mask tools first. So what you see on screen is an orange background with a clip of a little, I don't know, watery fountain thing in a park. So the point of it is, is this tap the picture in picture video and then hit edit on edit we can find top second one across mask when we get the mask there we've got nothing at all we've got the half and half and you can feather or if you wish you can invert that like that and you can feather it or do a hard and you can move this around you can see or you can I think we can, I was going to say, yeah, okay, that one moves around. Uh, looks like you actually, yeah, you can, two finger turn like that, look, feather, make it, so that, that's pretty interesting. Then we can go in, I'll take the feather off, we can go into that type affair, invert that back again, you can get the idea, don't you? And then we can pull this to see how far away either side we can do it, so that looked pretty interesting. Then we can go on to the... Um, Eclipse, I keep calling it an ellipse, um, and that is solid or it is a bit like that. And what you can actually do is you can, you have to give this a go because what happens is that if I put the, the feather up big, you can notice that the feather and the oval is actually going in and out of the 16 by 9 rectangle. Do you see what I mean? Is if you go along there and if move this around you can actually get some very interesting interesting things going on and then the rectangle is the last one where we can get some quite complex editing going on I guess if you want to reset this you'd have to delete it and start again clips it out it's really interesting the way that they've, they've done this so let's just leave that like that for a moment and then we go back and what you'll find is that that's what it looks like, which is obviously not a finished article, it's a test. And then we can go over to this other video clip of the park here, where we've got the One World Garden. And then as you come in, you'll notice that as I pan down with it, you've got the Eclipse um, mask turn up on the bottom, and that's what it looks like like that. That is pretty much that tool. This is an awareness video. And then we can go back to look at, what was the other one? the version 6.5.1 which is the blending modes which is quite an amazing thing and that is that if you've got and this if you see on screen here this is a match like a duplicate and then an inverse and I'll, I'll show you exactly what I mean by that and the way we actually get there is let me show you that so you see it looks like a pretty surreal type effect now what we're actually doing here is we're selecting a video clip and then the second picture in picture edit and then I'm looking at blending and when you go into blending you've got all these these different things going on so first of all top left you've got a um, opacity let's just leave that up can't get my finger in there to a hundred excuse me I have to take my phone off of the little clamp uh, yeah that'll do so so then what happens is that if you've got no blending there you go there's normal so nothing much happens if I've got a duplicate clip over the top overlay makes it look like that multiply screen hard light soft light lighten darken difference which is the one that I used for me as an old school photographer if you take a, um, a negative and a positive and put them both together you get a black screen slightly offset it and then what happens is you can see you see the way it's working so I'm, I'm actually been playing around quite a lot with this so we can move over so as our blending mode which looks pretty weird and then you can go over to there's a hue which doesn't do much in this example luminous but if you look at the difference then we can start making it 
work like that. Quite a fascinating um, tool, this, this blending business, because when you get going and you actually play the clip, which is playing now, you can see that the way you can get some quite arty and complex effects going on with nothing more than like a, there you go, look, look at that, the difference with that. Stop there, go up, and the last thing we want to do is just to come in a little bit and stop that and look at a couple of other things that I've done. Here is one where I've done exactly the same thing with two still photographs and I've added some, some soft touch and a couple of other effects to make something that looks a little bit um, like this with a picture on the inside. All I can say is that I've been playing around with it and all I'm doing is, is sharing. This is a blending mode of some trees and you can say you get quite an arty effect like that. This is another one where it's actually a KFC store but I've done the difference again and I've made it look a bit like that and it carries on. So look, without um, getting into it any deeper, this was a video which was talking about the two new features in this series of PowerDirect Mobile which is on Android and also now from the 23rd of December on iOS. This was number 62 in the series Blending and Mask. Have a great day.